is another beautiful night for Philippine basketball as we welcome the MPBL playoffs. They will be going for the W. Abundo has it up. Ronyo, he has been their hot hat. Ronyo, the basket, and one. Para kay Robin Ronyo. It's a story of defying expectations and living up to it. The Bacoor City Strikers will go into their matchup with the number eight seed, Iloilo United Royals, armed with home court advantage here at the Strike Gym for game one of their best of three South Division quarterfinal series. It's a good sized crowd para sa ating uh, laro ngayong Sabado ng gabi dito sa Bacoor City Marquee. And uh, the rest of the strikers will be heavily favored against the Iloilo United Royals. It's all about proving their worth here in this first round matchup. Magandang gabi mga kaliga, si Dav Tupas kasama si Paolo Hobalde and uh, of course Gian Alianes at courtside. Paolo, anong nararamdaman mo with this type of atmosphere and with the stakes at its highest right now? Uh, for me, it gives me chills sa uh, larong ito, no? Uh, madaming crowd, madaming atmosphere. So excited ako para sa matchup na to. Yeah, very exciting ah, itong matchup natin. Pero, tingnan muna natin ang ating playoff bracket. And at the moment, nakita natin kanina, the Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines already picking up their first win over the Quezon Oscar. So they have a one to nothing lead in that series. The winner of that series will move on in the semifinals para kalabanin ang uh, winner nitong series ng Bacoor against Iloilo. Tingnan natin ang uh, last matchup ng team, dalawang teams natin dito ngayon because this, these two teams actually played in this uh, very same venue in uh, previously. No? Itong sila uh, Alwin Alday and uh, the rest of the team, you know, the Bacoor City Strikers. This was a game na medyo nahirapan silang uh, no, makalayo sa Iloilo. But this was a totally different Iloilo team Nandun pa sila Tony Eno, Justin Sanchez. Pero ngayon, wala na yung mga players na yun. And marami naman magsistep up para sa team na yan. So, especially with the new coach, the new system. So, I think uh, everyone is locked in for this game. Oh, oh no. And uh, it took uh, some good endgame performances from the likes of John Nerma, James Quecate, para malampasan itong Bacoor City Strikers, itong Iloilo United Royals. Yung Iloilo pumunta dito, they were actually playing well that time. And uh, yun nga, natalo sila. Pati mo nang numero dito, uh, Paolo. 28% from the field in that ball game. Pero panalo sila in overtime. Oo. Oh, eh, yung uh, rebounds and uh, bench points ang susi sa game nilang yan. And let's see kung uh, kaya nilang gampanan yan ng uh, game ngayon ng strikers. So, let's go. Yeah, and uh, syempre, ito, John Irma was the best player of that ball game. And... Uh, Silipin muna natin itong mga players na kailangan natin abangan dito sa larong to. No? The two players that uh, we've, uh, you know, we want to look out for, especially yung labanan sa ilalim. No? J.R. Ongteco and itong si Mark Yee. And almost identical ang kanilang uh, point production. And uh, J.R. slightly better with his shooting. And also, to si Mark Yee though, has the advantage 
with the rebounding with 9.2 per ball game. So these two players, J.R. Oteco and Marky, are with RG Analyans. There is no number one and no number eight at the start of the playoffs. That's actually something that both coaches said before the game. So we're going to see how they're approaching the mindset. Ngayon. We're also going to pick the brains of a couple of their players. We have a big man-player matchup ngayon with JR Ongteco from the Ilo Ilo United Royals and Marquis from the Bacor City Strikers. JR, I'll start with you. You are one of the veterans of the team. What are your messages? Especially for the players who are the first players to play in the first place to play in the first place. Of series dito sa MPBL? Uh, sabihin ko lang sa kanila, uh, enjoy nila yung game and bigay nila yung best kasi playoffs na to eh. So, lahat dito, kahit ano mangyari, bigay na nila lahat. And then, um, ayun, so, <laughs> Thank you very much, JR. Now, I'll ask you, Kuya Mark, ikaw naman, alam ko na ikaw ang naging parang bridge ng lineup niyo dahil galing kayo sa iba't ibang kupunan. Ano naman yung naging advice mo sa teammates mo to play as a team for this playoff series? Hindi, uh, noong umpisa pa lang ng season na uh, talagang nag-usap-usap na kami na sobrang blessed namin dahil nakapunta kami sa bakor na team. And then, yun, nakakailangan lang, ano, dumipensa lang kami dahil doon kami nanalo sa depensa. And then, kung sino yung papasok, yun talaga depensa and then hassle lang. I know we witnessed na ang daming kilig na kilig to be able to watch you in person today. But tigyan mo naman lahat ng sumusupport ka sa kupunan nyo dito sa Strike Gymnasium. Yun, uh, nagpapasalamat kami sa lahat na taga-bakor na sumusuporta sa amin. Uh, lalo, lalo sa pagdadasal po dahil yun po ang pinakamalaking tulong. Dahil si, uh, sa kahit daddy gado, wala ang imposible. Uh, patuloy lang po kayong sumuporta sa amin sa ipagdasal nyo po kami. Maraming maraming salamat po. God bless po sa ating lahat. Thank you very much once again. That was Mark Yi from Bacoor and JR Onteco from Ilo Ilo. Turning it over now to our Coliseum Barker for the start of the game. This is going to be exciting. Strike Gym. The marching band, the capital of the Philippines. Bacoor City, Capite. Welcome to game one of the best of three quarterfinals. The eight rank Ilo Ilo facing off the top one in the South Division, your Bacoor Strikers. This is the Nexus 88 Gaming, Matty Pacquiao's MPBL Season 5 presented by Extreme. Here are the starters. First, on their second playoff appearance, the Ilo Ilo United Royals. At forward number 12, Josh Flores. Starting at guard number 18, Andre Armenion. Playing at center number 29, J.R. Onteco. Power forward number 27, Omar Larupay. And at one guard number 25, Renzo Navarro. Their head coach is MC Abolusion. His assistants are Mac Kuan, Ethel Tahorda, and Japs Kuan. Team owners are the father and son tandem of Jay Havilosa and JJ Havilosa. And now, strike first, strike fast, strike them all on their fourth playoff appearance. Your Bacoor City Strikers, Phil Coming in at center number eight, J-Mo Aguilos. At point guard number nine, Aaron Heruta. Two guard number 15, the quick James Fox. James, quick to take. Starting at forward number 29, the elastic man, John Nermal. Power forward number 52 from Barangay Mambog, Mark Yee! Their head coach is Alex Angeles, assistant coaches, RB Mangas, the Jigs, Guadamore, Marlo Corpin, the skyscraper Marlo Aquino, Royce Cuevas, and Big Mac Andaya. Assistant team manager Lawrence San Jose, coaching consultants are Cap BJ Aganus, Willie Generalau, and Chris Conway. Team manager and co team owner Dennis Sabella. Here we go, team ladies and gentlemen. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Bakor City, labat sa Iloilo, Ilo, 
four starts with Aaron Haruta, James Grecate, Jamo Igilos, Marky, and John Nermal. Iloilo has Andre Armignon, Enzo Navarro, J.R. Oteco, Josh Flores, and Omar Larupa. The battle between the number eight seed and the number one seed in the South about to unfold. The Del Tupas Kasama si uh, Paolo Hobalde and Gian Alianes bringing you the action from Bacoor City. And we are underway. Bacoor in blue and Iloilo in white. And they win the tip. Here's Marquis. Ginabateni Omar Larupa. Heruta gets it down low to Iguilos against Onteco. Great strike. Arminion to Navarro. La Rupa will fly. No. We have a shot clock problem here. Good hand over the Arminion. Immediately. Blindsided against si, uh, Jamo Iguilos sa pag uh, ikot niya. And they will give uh, the shot clock a check here. And if you're Iloilo, uh, the last time these two teams naglaban sila, no, it was a totally different look for Iloilo. Yes. No, wala na si Justin Sanchez, wala na si Tony Enos, but ito nga, could be a good thing para sa kanila, no, with uh, regards to the scouting. Oo, oh, malaking bagay yun, kasi iba yung approach ng ano, game nila eh, against uh, previous laban nila. Tulad ng mga ganun. Inside, Josh Flores scores underneath for the first basket of the ball game. Two to nothing. Yeah, ball tapped away. The ball will stay with Bakor. Indeed, it's mahirap din mag single coverage dito yung Iluilo. No, they have to give this. Bakuor team, different looks defensively. Rebound to Arminion. Andre to Omar. Omar underneath. Nice and the fake and the foul from uh, Marquis. Um, on paper, kasi talagang uh, mas lamang ang uh, Bakuor. Pero you can never ano eh, uh, grade, grade, uh, grade uh, other team because of uh, paper. So, everyone, uh, every team is working hard. Lalo na ito, you know, speaking of Hardworking. It was si Omar Larupay has come up with some big games late in the season, and to me, she is the X factor. Di ba? Na kapasok sila sa playoffs. Uh, Paulo la, down the stretch, no? Ang hirap kasi iniwang kanila Tony Inot na nawala sa lineup mo, and then all of a sudden, itong ginilangan mong magstep up itong ibang player. Ganon naman talaga sa basketball sa Delta. Eh. If someone leaves, someone will uh, take over. Yeah, that's true. Iguilos down low block mm -hmm. by Oteco. It's about from Iguilos and he will not be denied. It's just too big to tell. Here's the loose ball down low and Jamo Iguilos on the second try. J.J. Oteco. Credit to him. He, he did a great job defensively, pero sa pangalawa, just too big para dito sa Bacos. Ooh, two quick fouls on Marquis. This will uh, change the complex of the game, ah. Huh? No, pangalawa na yan in the first minute and 15 of the ball game. Crucial to sa Bacora ah, kasi wala si Kanyete. Uh, Navarro. That's it to Flores. Binabatayan ni Nermal. And off to Arminion. Taken away by Kwekkate. And a foul whistled on Arminion. Bumawi ka agad si Arminion. They had to stop the fast break, really. James Kwekkate, that's one aspect of his game that we want to see more kanyang, uh, on ball defense. Yep. And Kekate missing on the first free throw. Playoff jinx ba yung ganyan? Uh, hindi pa naman. Wala pa. Wala pa. Wala pa. 
But usually, you know, to see Michael Cañete is uh, not in uniform. Nermal inside. Go for two, pero nakuha ni Nermal yung uh, offensive rebound. Mm -hmm. okay. Usually kasi itong kabila dito, nahihirapan itong Vakor usually makascore sa mga first quarter. Ito, eh. oh, dito sa kabila. Na to. Oh, may ano talaga, may, uh, may tendency talaga. Finally. Nermal, one for two. Score is three. All. Garupay, hand off to Enzo Navarro. Arminion has it. Drives. Denied by Aguilos. Nermal on the run. John Nermal off the glass and in. How do you like the boys right here from John Nermal, Paolo? Um, I've seen this guy before. Ang laki ng improved dito itong batang to. The way he drives, the way he shoots, yung confidence nandun na. Kahit alam mo na nandun yung confidence ng bata. So, I'm happy for this guy. Uh, five, for, five to three and having score. And, and even, and, and, and that has translated to a very high draft stock huh? for yes. him. Inside, Don Teco scores. We're tied again at five. Neyron Heruta. Secretary Yi, hand off to Nermal. That ball tapped away from Arminion, so. Nakabawi na si Arminri. Nakadalawa na. Oh. I think it's a very tough task for our Armenian to guard the uh, Oh, it's a big deal to see James Tech. It's a good, good pass there from Enzo Navarro. Here's Enzo. There's no ball there. La Rupai drives. Voila. Second serving. Oh, my La Rupai. It's a challenge for the kids. It's a kid. Oh, Omar Larupay averaging 6.3 points during the regular season and almost six and a half rebounds. Nerbal! Dere derecho. Yun ay sinasabi kong confidence. Flores, right back at you. Right back at you, John Nerbal. Josh Flores, four points in the ballgame. Good attack. Yeah. Rane, it's 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 really now. Parang Janer Mal made a made a business decision a few months ago. Nada dapat ipakita ko na ganito na ako kagaling. Oh, and I think malaking bagay yon sila Marky, yung mga veterans niya na kinapalaro siya ng the way he wants to play. Oh, there's a lot of I think. Alam ko si si Coach Alex is a very System-based player, ah, coach. Pero yung inahayaan niya ito si John Nerman na may magkompakita ng konti ng creativity sa laro niya. And yung trust na yon, ano yung player na man ni Nerman? Oh, that's true. But he's two for five from the foul line. So si John Nerman, nine to eight ang ating score. Navarro fires, and he got hit while taking the three. That's three free throws for Enzo. So, ma'am, it's all again. Let's watch this. We need to make a ball to Hiruta to close out because of the pick from Teco. But Nermal was already air. Navarro was already airborne. Parang ang tumama yata si Egolus. Ang kaliwang paa ni ano ni uh, uh, Navarro. Navarro kay Ruta. Number 
Aaron Neruta gets a breather, but it's uh, first time in the ball game, rather. Let's see, Ivan Ludovice. But grab your challenge here to Enzo Navarro. Look, Kalidad, the point guard, so Kabila. And Dami. Um, magandang challenge yan sa basketball career ni Navarro kasi you're playing against top point guards sa MPBL. Yeah, and, and very established uh, pros, you know. Enzo Navarro sinks the second. I think this is the time for him to excel. Uh, two for three for Enzo. It's a three-point lead for the Ilo Ilo United Royals. The Davisa. Pinapahirapan ni Armin Yon, who has a couple of steals already in this ballgame. He now with Trekete. James Ludovice. Corner, they go. Nermal in and out. Ludovice with a rebound. Gets it to Trekete. Attack and score. Trekete! 10 to 11. Navarro. Oteco with a jumper. That's good. That's his shot. He played with the Jay Oteco in Venezuela. Yes, yes. I know he has that shot. And then it's a two-man game with uh, Enzo Navarro. Here's he. Nermal will try again. Ooh, in and out. A couple of three-pointers not falling for John Nermal. Flores. Narupai, now with Navarro. 13 to 10, Navarro. Too strong on the jumper. Flores. Voila. And he secures the board. Nermal to Yi. Top of the key. The Devise able to recover. Five on the shot clock. Nermal has to put it up. John. Oh my goodness. John Nermal. Dun pa siya sa mas mahirap na tres. Ayaw na madali. We're tied at 13 after the three pointer from John Nermal. Armin Yon. High Top arcing. Shot. Jumper from Andre. Doesn't drop. Nermal will try again. He's one for five. Okay, that's my answer. Four shots to three points without hesitation. Uh -huh. Not in a three-point shot of the game. Brought in by Extreme One-Stop Shop Appliances. Armin Yon, you know, did all he could to distract John Nermal. But John Nermal, unfazed, knocks down the three. And we are tied at 13. Marquis, his own version of a play. As always. 16 to 13. First three points to Marquis. Navarro. CJ Katapusan in the ball game. Jammer Hamito also in the game for Macor. Flores. Top shot. Another rebound para kay John Nermal. Three in the ball game para kay John. Ludovice. Good attack. Ludovice. What a pass. Oh, wow. What a play. What a pass. Ibang klase yun. Ganda nung pasang yun. Perfect. And credits to Katapusa na hinabol talaga niya for highlights. Oh, kasi nasa ilalim na siya ng ring eh. And one free throw, CJ Katapusan. Do you in the game? Yeah. Gusto bumilis yung laro. No. Warning on Ilo Ilo United. Let's uh, go to Gianna for a report on the strikers. Gaya ng binanggit ko kanina, wala ng number one standing ang nasa isip ng Bacoor. Dahil kung may natutunan daw sila dito sa MPBL, hindi pwede maging kampante. Pero na kwento ni Coach Alex na malaking rason sa magandang takbo nila ngayong season ay ang home crowd nila. Beyond these games, pumupunta rin ang mga strikers sa mga barangay leagues at fiestas para makausap ang mga fans face-to-face -face at mas mabigyan ng inspirasyon. Ito 
tong hindi pagsasarili ay na-apply daw nila sa galor. Kunento ni Chito Jaime, ang magandang distribution nila sa opensa ay dahil sa mindset na huwag hanapin ang pwesto, dagating rin yun, always share the ball. To add to that, wala pa rin si Michael Caniete sa labong ngayon, pero baka makabalik daw siya para sa Bacoor sa susunod na game. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, uh, Gian Elianes. And, uh, yun nga pa, no? And, uh, no, the Bacoor City Strikers, really, ang maganda dito is they are very much involved in the community. Yes. Now, uh, bilang representative ng Bacoor dito sa MPBL, hindi nila, you know, it's not just about playing here right now. Uh, you know, umiikot sila, getting the opportunity to get to know the fans. They're, uh, they're giving back the love that they got home games. Nila. Oh, and that's it. 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 Yep. Flores against Nermal. Larupay. Attack. And uh, his last touch, Jammer Hamito. Ang haba ng big man ng ano? Bakor? Yeah. Imagine mo. Nermal coming out. Chito Jaime coming in. And Kwekote as well. Oh. So, ito yung mga, even pag nag-sona ka, ang, ang, ang daming passing lane na po, <laughs> hindi makakalusot. Hindi <laughs> lang yun eh. Yung shooter, palitan mo ng another shooter, is a, uh, ang sarap no, nasa team. No, it's a, uh, to me, Chito Jaime, they had some moments against Zamboanga in their last game. I saw that. Oh, I saw although that. natalo sila doon. Navarro, shot clock winding down, well defended. Ang tres na yun. And uh, credits to uh, the BBC. There's a shot clock violation. Uh, everyone thought it was a timeout. Ganun kalakas ang crowd dito. Or yung buzzer, medyo malakas. <laughs> Six point lead for the strikers. Jaime, Lee Yu, Ludovice, Hamito, and Krekete on the floor for the strikers. Chito Jaime. Trekete, now with the Davise. Ivan. Nice pass. Find Jammer Hamito, uh, and it's a defensive foul. Then the new fight in the Davise. Well, Ludovic, Coach, Coach Alex, I think it's going to be a pass. It's a pass, but there's a lot of defense at the beginning. Ah, yung angulo ng pasa. Oo. Oh, oh. Armin yun. Nice pass. Finds katapusan. Tough shot. Imperial. Taken away by Krekete. Ludovice to Jaime. Lee Yu. Krekete. Drives. Off the glass and in. With a Euro step. Four points. Eight point lead, a strong start for the strikers. Arminion to Imperial, La Rupa has it. Oh, nice nice block by Hamito. Liu, good swing. Oh, here, ball from Hyman. Josh Flores. Shaq Imperial, too strong. And the one Sabola ends up with Katapusan. Imperial again. Nanunod si Imperial dun. Oo, alangan siya. With a couple of big bodies in front of him. Lee Yu. Ludovice, three. And out and in again. Great combo. Lee Yu and Ludovice, the driver kick. Working wonders for the strikers, and Perfect. that forces Coach MC to call for timeout. Perfect pass, yeah, no? Yun na lang ang gagawin ni Ludovice. Bang. Yeah. Right on the money. Para kay Ivan Ludovice. 
minute and 16 remaining in the first quarter. Lamang, ang Bacoor, 26 to 15. James Quickete, almost 12 points per ball game, five rebounds, uh, 2.3 assists, and all those two steals as well. 36% from the field, and uh, you know he is a you know a volume shooter. But ang importante dito kay James Quickete pa, I think it's more of your timing na kanya mga tira. Oh. Some 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 of the players. Sometimes you need to get the game come to you. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Imperial gets bumped by Li Yu, and that is a foul. So that will mean two free throws. But I uh, shot Imperial. Number 20, Jovan Li Yu. Penalty. This is the first foul on Jovan Li Yu. Two free throws. Shot Imperial. Shaq Imperial. Is Shaq Imperial late addition too? Yeah. Uh, ano na rin, late in the season na rin yan. June na rin na nakapasok. And uh, he goes two for two at the line. First two points for uh, Imperial. 26 to 17. Final minute of the first period. Is Liu drives three pointer Ivan nine points, eleven points off 11 the bench. Points. And Arminion, man, a quick response coming kind of, uh, under Arminion. And itong, uh, Bakor finding their flow offensively. 4 of 10 from beyond the arc in the first period. Jaime to Quekate. No. Quekate tracks down the loose ball. Hammer, Hamrito. 31 to 19, Imperial misses. That will end the first period of action. Bacoor City Strikers making a statement. That's true. Mm Hello. -hmm. Uh, flaunting their might early on, the Bacoor City Strikers. It all started with John Nermal leading the break and finishing off the glass. And uh, on the other end, Navarro and Octeco connecting. Li Yu, Jaime, and the extra pass. The Ludovice who has 11 points as the strikers take a 12 point lead. Back inside the strike gym in uh, Bako Or. A uh, 
terrific first quarter performance galing sa home team of Bacoor City Strikers. And their team, ma their matchup right here. Uh, this is where Bacoor really takes pride no, sa kanilang uh, laro. It's their defense. Yes. Second in points allowed, holding opponents to just 68.7 points per ball game, Paolo. Uh, that's a very big factor ngayong, lalo na sa ngayong game. Uh, defense talaga ang uh, can win championships. And uh, Coach Alex Angeles was, uh, he was the captain of the Sunbed, the team na who ended a long drought, di ba? Wow. Uh, in the uh, mid-2006 to yata. Eh? Here's the Vise. Jaime, three, yes! That's unselfish basketball. Ito ka yun, yung una, binigay ni Jaime kay Lodi Jose for three. Now, siya naman, alo ba yan. They're sharing the ball really well. Dion. Yes, ito Nunez. Ompeko fires. Wala. Box out. Jaime, rebound. Jaime. Precote. Thought about it. Binigay kay Chito. Precote. Corner, the extra pass, plenty of time on the shot clock. Chito in and out on the three, rebound to Krekete. Lodovice fires, voila. And the rebound, JR Somido gets it back. Somido for three. Way off. Gold off the bench. JR Somido. And 34 to 19. Here's Decoy Lopez coming in. Decoy Lopez replaces Jammer Hamito. For uh, Jammer Hamito. Another one of those uh, very versatile uh, big men of uh, Bacor. Decoy Lopez. Yeah. Somido. Monteco gets it back. Libre Siguillon has the fire. That's off to the left. Rekete on the run, out to Jaime, Ludovice, three, no go, rebound, J.R. Onteco. Inside they go, it's J.R. Sumido. First two points for Sumido. Yeah. Here's uh, Lee Yu. They swing it over to uh, Decoy Lopez. Umatake si Lee Yu. Wala. Sayam, point blank. To the other side. So, middle corner three. Good closeout by Krekete. Great passing. And Bakoor. Great passing. Chito Jaime. Six Very points. Selfish. You cannot leave Chito Jaime that wide open. So that's. That's. Uh, strikers trying to finish off the Royals early on. Unselfish basketball from Bakoor. Jaime to Krekete. Back to Jaime. For the open three. We have a timeout, 37 to 21.
Back inside to strike Jim in uh, Buckle Orr. Uh, and uh, all smiles from the Buckle Orr faithful as their team is up by 16. Omteko breaks the press, attacks, and uh, scores. JR Onteco will try to complete the three point play. Alvin Alday, nakakapasok lang. His whistle for, for the foul. And uh, we Gianna Yanis has a report. Earlier, you, Paolo, mentioned being JR Onteco's teammate in the past. Pero hindi natin madedenay that since then, he's really come out of his shell. Ang malaking kasan daw doon ay dahil since his MPBL career, JR has become a father, a proud girl dad to his daughter Astrid. Mentioning that his favorite activity to do with her is help her with her homework, JR says, Ngayon na may pamilya na ako, hindi lang para sa sarili ko ang ginalabi ko. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, Gianna, but... Nine points for uh, Chito Jaime. Nine points now for Chito Jaime, and uh, Jay Onteco just runs over him. Pero that's a, that was a nasty step back three. Can <laughs> yes. Chito Jaime? Uh, Pinapa kita na ako ng mga titos sa. Ah. Oh, MPBL titos. <laughs> Daniel Veloria. No, Pastoran with a rebound. That's it to Daniel. Back to Jaime. Chito will fire. No. Grabe yung Decoy Lopez. Oh, trying to battle underneath and it is going to be a foul on Decoy Lopez. Pero... Uh, uh, J.R. Onteco, of course, na... Yes. Nakita natin. Uh, Score the last five points. Yeah, and also, you know, to... I mean, mention nga ni Gianna as is a proud girl dad. Yes, uh... uh for me, uh, I'm a testament uh, to that because I've seen him grow uh, from, uh, from, uh, from my former teammate to now. Uh, ngayon, he's being a leader then. Omar Narupay has been struggling in this ball game. Omar Narupay, very athletic. He can get to where, what, with, you know, wherever he wants to. On the floor, pero kanina parang nagahanap siya ng foul kaysa mag dumire derecho yung kanyang day up. Eh. You, you can have a look at it. Ang lalaki nung uh, sumasabay sa kanya. Siyempre, ma maigilang ka talaga kahit na you're that talented. For him to overcome that is just to play. Yeah. Jim Boy Pastoran, binabatay ni Omar Larupay, Alwin Alday. Down low they go to Marquis and Teco in front of him. Shot clock down to two. Mark has to fire. Oh no. The best. Ang Titos of MPBL. Pinapakitaan talaga ako. Titos of Bacor muna. 43 to 27. Oh. Narupay. Oh, that was a nasty ball. Oh. I hope the two players are okay. Yeah, what a shot though from Marquis. E. And it's been that kind of night so far para sa Paco or Pau, uh, no? Shot lock winding down. Oh, may insan alanganin na. Mabasok pa rin eh. Experience na yata yun. Well, actually, hindi na siya sabi ko sa'yo eh. There are, over the course of the season, may Minsan talaga slow start itong Bacoor. And this is one of the best starts I've seen them this season. Kaya di, ito yung pagkakaiba talaga ngayon. I think it has to do with me. <laughs> Kailangan mag-cover ko siguro ng Bacoor lagi. <laughs> And uh, uh, Omar now, Larupan looks good. So uh -oh. when you're young, you're strong na. <laughs> uh -oh, 43 to 28. Yi. The gym boy, Pastoran. I'll die. Veloria. Makes it to Alwin for three. No. Narupa with the rebound. Good stop for Iloilo. Josh attacks. And 
uh, he will not prevail against the bigs of Bacoor. Alwin. Kranian Veloria back to Alwin. Drives baseline. Aldai finds nice Egilos. Wala na siya pupuntahan nun eh. Oo. Oh. Buti na lang, merong isa pang tito. Oo. Oh. Pero medyo umusog din konti si Jemo para magpaki magpakita. Oo. Oh. Navarro. No go on the step back three. Alwin. On the open floor. Attacks and he gets back. Alam naman natin na aatakihin talaga ni Alwin. Yeah, Oo. Oh. Okay. Watch this play from Alwin Alday. Yun, yung konting movement ni uh, Jemo Iguilos. That seemed like a turnover <laughs> before Alday found uh, uh, Jemo Iguilos for oh, the two points. Oh, kasi wala kang tao sa corner. Usually, you have a release pass on that corner pass. Warning on the to find Jemo. It's a perfect pass yun. 45 to 28. Now we're not die. Yes, the first point. First point. I Malang. think the uh, key difference dito is the three-point shot. Oh, eh, kanina pa yung uh, three-point shooting ng uh, Bacoor. Uh, talagang uh, big advantage to them. And, uh, On cue. Eight of 20. For Bacoor and uh, Iloilo has yet to make a three. They go to Larupay. Last touch on Omar. Sa 3 pa lang bang, plus 24 na eh. Yun na nga eh. And that's a very high clip as well. 8 of 20. Uh, almost uh, 50%. Normal. We'll try to add to that. There is a foul on Alvin Alday. And nasa penalty na. Holding uh, foul on number 17, Alwin Alvin. Penalty. This is the second foul of Alvin Alvin. Four minutes left. I think this is the time for the Iloilo to set up tong, to take advantage of pen, uh, penalty ng uh, Bacoor. Oh, and, and they do have players there. Uh, and the line shooting two. Andre. Andre. Diba natin na siya lang ina si CJ Katapusan yun, yun, sa kanyang mga Offensive uh, conversions. But the free throws are not falling. The free throws brought to you by Xero Plansis. So, book at complete ang plans man ng Pilipinas. 0 for 2. And die. In the left hand, si Alwin dun. After leaving behind is the defender. Pati siya na sa move niya, eh, no? <laughs> Nangyayari ba sa'yo yun? Oh. Minsan. Minsan, minsan. There's Arminion. Pulls up. Yes, finally. Bawis, bawis sa miss free throw, so... More points for Andre Arminion. 3.43 remaining in the first half as uh, Bacoor calls timeout. 17 point lead for the Strikers. Believe, believe, yun daw ang paulit-ulit na sinabi ni Coach Matt sa Ilong Ilo United Royals. 
lalo na sa kagamihan ng younger players niya na hindi pa naka-experience ng playoffs sa ganitong level. In terms of composure daw, ang makakatulog sa kanila, ang huling laro nila against Pasay. In Coach Max words, we played against the Voyagers in their home court. Magandang preparation yon sa players ko. Now that Bacoor has home court advantage. Ang pagkontrol ng emosyon ang hinihingi niya sa United Royals telling them, let go of the pressure, back to zero ang lahat, so do not worry. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, Gianna, and uh, I gotta like that from Coach uh, MC Abuluson. Uh, you know, they, they they know they're up against it. Yes. Against dito sa Bacoor City Strikers, pero syempre, gusto mo from your coach. Uh, walang, walang ano, hindi nagpapanik. Oh. See, there's a... And Larupay goes down. Sumabit kay Tito, Tito Mark. Marky. Already with two personals. Malaking nga na ito ah, kung tatawagan siya ng fall dyan. And 47 to 32. Let's watch this again. Medyo nakabigat yung uh, pagbagsak. Medyo na din. Uh Oo. -oh. Medyo na veteran mo. Uh Oo. -oh. And, uh, you know, Marky. Kung Tito ang uusapan, sino yung papasok na Tito ngayon? <laughs> Ito may... Uh, ano pa lang ako, pinapanood ko na ito. <laughs> uh, ayoko, ayoko sabihin, baka ma-reveal din yung uh, age naming dalawa. <laughs> But, uh, syempre, it looks like we have uh, Marlon Basco coming in for Iloilo. And they're still checking this one, the Latin game officials. Warning on Iloilo, United Royals, number 27, Omar Larupay, for faking a foul. Walang foul kay Marky. So, it's faking a foul on Omar Larupay. Nakahinga ng maayos si Coach Alex. Oo. Again, great pressure here. Pinibigay ng Iloilo sa Bacoor. Pastoran has to cross midcourt, and he gets double team, releases it to Yee. Yi fires a three. Yes, ah. sir. Three points. Nine points for Tomar. Tomar. Yeah, that's the second three of the ball game as well. Navarro. Step back jumper is good. Finally. Nine of 22 from beyond the arc. Ang uh, Bacor over nine for Iluilo. Pastoran left open. Did not get that one to go. Rebound in the Rupai. Arminion spins. Hesitation move. Arminion. Too strong off the glass. Arminion. Look at that hustle. Here's the time. We're up in the time. So 18 seconds in the shot clock of Iloilo. They have two seconds to cross half court. And the strikers are uh, called a ceasefire. Mabali kami.
Josh Flores of uh, the Iloilo United Royals has uh, yet to get going in this ball game. 12.4 points per game, uh, 3.9 rebounds, 2.3 ass uh, assists, and a, a steal per ball game, uh, shooting 37%. And uh, uh, has, uh ilan, four, four points pa lang. Four points pa lang dito sa laro natin. Uh, He's a big factor sa team nila, so he needs to step up for this game. Oh, oh. 16 points ang lamang ng Bacor. 2.20 remaining. Quekate joins the three-point barrage. Seven points for James Quekate, and that is three-pointer number 10. Ayaw niya na yung mga tito na nagsasaya. <laughs> Gusto niya sumali sa party. Flores nam ditawan yung bola and misses on the layup. Here's the Gilos. Now with Krekete. One more. Sapa from James in and out. Narupa grabs the rebound. Gets it to Nunez. Pulls up. Too strong. Rebound in it from James Krekete. Ahead to Nermal. Nermal is bumped by Basco and he'll go to the line for two. Kita mo yung sa look pa lang niya, alam mo nga, atake na siya, no? Yun yung confidence na pinag-uusapan namin. And, and also, well, no, tingnan muna natin dito yung dress ni James Krekete. That's a tough shot. Oh. Hand in your face. Off a dribble. Well, kung titignan mo nga ito si James Kekote, he, he likes that off the dribble thing kasi parang doon niya kinukuha yung buwelo niya eh. Rhythm. Oh. Rhythm niya. Uh, there, I know a lot of guys who does that. Yung getting that rhythm of a shot. So, for him to have that in his bag is... Yung laking bagay for him. Laking bagay yung para sa kanya. Lead is now at 21 points, 55 to 34. Here's Narupa. Jumper against Marquis. Could not get the bounce. Egilos collects the rebound ahead to Nermal. John spins, and that is last touch on Marlon Basco. Which MC Abulushon took over late in the season. And, uh, with Coach Mack and Coach Jap. Yeah, and uh, took this team to the playoffs. Uh, here's Marquis. Aba, aba, aba. That's ay, uh, ay, um, offensive interference going to uh, Jemo Igilos. Highlight na sana. No, parang ginanahan si uh, Marquis. May hang time. Uh -huh. But, alam mo, you have to kailangan mag-ingat ka eh. Kasi I think, I remember, I covered this game dito, no? Uh -huh. Against Bulacan. And uh, si, si, si Tito Marky, uh, si Guya Mark, uh -huh. medyo, you know, there was a lot of talking back and forth. The game was practically won for Bacor. And, and medyo, hindi niya siguro, no? He, no, I wanted, I felt he wanted to play to the crowd. <laughs> Nakita mo yung sa playoff teaser natin. Yung yung dunk? Yung, oh, ano yun? Pagtapos ng game yun. Kay Alcoriza? Oo. Oh. Meron pa na talaga. Oo, oh, oh, meron pa. Marlon Basco! That is the first three of the ball game para sa Iloilo after 10 makes sa Bacor. Sumali na rin yung another tito. Oo, oh, but uh, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, Oh, what a, nice what a getaway from Krakate. Nice what a getaway. That is so smooth. James Krakate. Nine points for him. We're seeing a lot of freedom dito sa offense ng Bacor. And when unleashed, ang hirap talaga kalabanin ng ito team na to. With so many talented players there. Ang dami mong bala sa Delphi. Paano mo babantayan yan? You, you stop one guy, there's another guy coming in. And that's uh, says everything about Punsino number one. Oh, and take a look at this play again. You drop. Yeah. 
And James Kekate whistled for the That's offensive so foul. Somido and uh, Navarro coming in for uh, Leo Guion. Pinahinga Muna. Fifty-seven to thirty-seven. Basco. And off to Enzo Navarro. Navarro on the run. A lot of contact. No call. And we have some color developing. Mayor's basketball. Let's go. Yeah. And Ilo Ilo. They weren't happy with that first half performance. But, alamo naman itong Bahor. This is their house. And, uh, syempre. <laughs> not, Everyone is hyped. Oh. Tingnan natin how we finished the half. Marky gets the rebound. Bumanga kay. Uh, Sumido, La Rupai doesn't want to let go. And uh, this is pretty much over until James Kekate comes in. La Rupai pushes him away. And <laughs> mind you, marami pong mga ilonggo at saka taga-bakolod sa team na yan. Uh -huh. So mag-alos magkakakilala ng mga players natin. And as they make, uh, they study this uh, End game incident, no half time, no end of quarter incident. Uh, we will go into no, not yet. No, we'll go into a break. 57 to 37 at the end of the first half. Lamang ang bakor. Hadi. Who stood out for you in the first two games? Well, obviously, Kalaokan was led by the game-winning shot of Gabby Espinas. And Espinas really did a good job all game long. He was just really there. His presence was very important para sa Kalaokan. His rebounding was a big factor. He let his other teammates do the job. Jennifer Cabana erupted in the third quarter. Rail Cervantes did also a good job in the fourth period. But at the tail end, at the most important moment of the game, Gabby Espinas delivered the timely blow to get Kalaokan their first win of that series. Sa Pasig naman, Ryan Costello, heading into the fourth quarter, makes only had a point to his yes. name. And then, as the top scorer of Pasig City this season, he embraced the moment and he delivered in the clutch. Unfortunately, they came up short. How about in the second game? Archie Concepcion was the best player for Pampanga. Now, obviously, he overshadowed the Spider-Man himself in Arvid Santos. But what impressed you the most about his gameplay? Well, it was the fact that he did not need play set up for him. He did everything within the flow of the offense. At the start, he was going downhill, attacking the basket, finishing at the rim. And when Papanga decided to run their offense once again to Valdi Baltazar and Enzo Serrano, he was able to move well without the basketball, and he was still be able to be effective in that way. Still scoring a bunch of baskets while also delivering assists and grabbing rebounds para sa Pampanga Giant Lanterns. You gotta love that from a guy who has focused on his defense all season long. Now he's come alive offensively for Pampanga once again. On the other end for Marikina, we talked about Joe Gomez de Liano a lot in that game. Yeah, Joe Gomez de Liano has really stepped out of the shell of his younger brothers. He really wants to be able to vindicate and also make sure that everybody knows that he is also his own player, that he has the ability to be one of the rising stars in the league. We were talking about it during the coverage that if he continues to stay with Marikina for the next season, his star will continue to blossom and grow and who knows, he might be actually just the face of this Marikina franchise. Now if I can put you on the spot once again, for those two series that we have in the North Division, Pasig versus Kalookan, Pampanga versus Marikina, who do you think will shine in game number two? Now for Kalookan, I'm pretty sure that Jeremer Cabanag would want to pick up from where he left off in that game. He really struggled during the first half, so I'm guessing Coach Robert Season will continue to make plays for him just like he did at the latter part of that match. Sa kabilang panic naman, I think that Josan Nimes will definitely still improve on his performance, getting more conditioning under his legs. He did a really good job of getting passing in 
into that game when they were down. So I'm pretty sure he's going to perform well once again, especially with the intelligence that he has as a player. All right, so that's going to do it for our MPBL recap, folks. Make sure to catch the action live Mondays, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for your 2023 MPBL playoffs. What an excellent recap of our first day of our MPBL playoffs. Props to my friends Migs and have you narrated that. Para sa inyo mga kaliga, ano mas exciting? Day one of our playoffs or today, day two? Let us know on our social media accounts as you are witnessing the halftime of our second game of today. And it's between Iloilo and Bacoor. The score is 57 to 37 in favor of Bacoor. Kausapin naman natin ang mga representatives ng dalawang koponan just to know what's going on behind the scenes. We have the team owner of Iloilo, Jay Havalosa, and the team owner of Bacoor, Sir Dennis Abelia. Jay, I will start with you. You wear a lot of hats for your team. You know, you're a team owner, you're also a player. How do you encourage, especially the younger players, not to limit themselves as well? Uh, well, this is their livelihood. This is their job. If they want to extend the series, um, we shouldn't limit ourselves. Uh, you know, um, first half, they, uh, we weren't making our shots, uh, but then we were losing the 50-50 balls. So if we, if we want to extend the series, we have to win those. And yeah. And I know something you're also telling them is that they can't lose spirit midway throughout the game, right? And I'm sure something encouraging all of you guys is your supporters as well. Why don't you thank everybody supporting your team? Uh, yeah, hi everyone, good evening. Uh, I'd like to greet my fiance Natalie, then boss JJ, uh, my mom in Boracay watching right now with Papa D, uh, my, my brother, my sisters, um, shout out to you guys, and then shout out to our sponsors, um, Coco Life, Philbet, GameX Sports, um, Consulta MD, XYZ, and then um, um, I want to give a shout out to all the people in Iloilo. Please check out um, Boro LASIK Center in Festive Iloilo. Um, they just opened uh, last April. Please check it out and um, they'll, they'll support us for next season. And everyone in Iloilo, um, I just want to say we started from the bottom, 04, and now we're here. But then uh, the job's not yet done. I hope we can do better in the second half. Thank you very much once again. That was the team owner of the Iloilo United Royals, Jaya Velosa. Now let's talk to the team owner of the Bacor City Strikers, Sir Dennis Abelio. Sir Dennis, naganiko naman po na soon you'll actually have a complete lineup with no injuries. Moving forward, ano ang gagawin nyo para siguraduhin na wala nang ang injuries at condition lahat ng players nyo? Uh, buti nga, uh, hindi masyadong uh, malaking injury ni Mike Cañete na talagang alam naman natin playoffs ngayon. So lahat ng talented players natin kailangan talaga nandyan to help the, the team. So ngayon, ang lagi ko nalang sinasabi sa kanila, ingat. Minsan kasi kahit sa practice, medyo in, uh, intense yung uh, practice nila. So ngayon medyo hinay-hinay lang. And then talagang pagdating sa laro natin, kailangan din talaga mag-ingat sila. So yun lang. Tapos sa uh, konting luck, sana makaabot lahat hanggang sa dulo ng playoffs na uh, injured-free yung uh, strikers natin. And from what I've heard, your team's relationship with the supporters goes beyond basketball dahil nag-uusap rin sila, nag-interact rin sila in every other event of Bacoor. Pasalamatan nyo naman po lahat ng dumating dito para supportahan ng strikers sa Strike Gymnasium. Siyempre, uh, nagpapasalamat tayo sa suporta ng binigay ng mga Bacoorenyo uh, na laging nandyan para sumuporta sa ating laban hindi lang dito sa ating gym pati sa kanila-kanilang uh, mga cellphone, television na nanonood at uh, hanggang sa abroad uh, nanonood sila para suporta ang ating uh, strikers team Thank you very much once again that was Sir Dennis Abelio Sir Dennis, I know that a lot of people are also supporting your team on the management side why don't you thank them as well? Yeah, uh, ihabol ko lang din pala uh, gusto kong batiin ang ating mahal na uh, mayor, si Mayor Strike B. Revilla, kanyang asawa, si Ma'am uh, Shea Cabal Revilla, si Shea, Baby Shaley, si Rob. Siyempre ang ating uh, major sponsor, ang, ang Philbet.com, ang Almar, Almacar Construction, RKF Builders, Arkinil Tavu, Cap RR, Laxon, City Advertising, Debentan Sports, Mwell, 24 Alkaline Sea, sa aking pamilya, Adrian, Patty, Kirsten, Ezra and Enzo, siyempre sa aking asawa, si Liza and Dea Family, kay paring Bobby Bautista, kay Edwin and Malu Camerino and Elsa Cuevas. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Once again, that was the team owner of Baco Or, Sir Dennis Abelia. Don't go away. More excitement here on Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. South Division Quarter Finals featuring the top seed, the Bacoor City Strikers and the Iloilo United Royals who caught the last bus to this, to this uh, uh, MPBL postseason. And uh, it was Bacoor uh, most of the way in that first half. And kita kita natin dito, Paulo Hobalde, 23 pointers against one uh, for Iloilo. They also dominated the rebounding and also had more bench points. You know, Bacor could hardly do anything wrong in that first half out. Story of the ball game. Three-point shots, rebounds, bench points. Oh. That's a very hard stop. Parang train na, papunta na, speeding train na. Oh, that's true. And everyone got in on the act. Yes. Yung parang, nung, nung medyo naging komportable ang lamang, naging Comfortable na lahat na humawak ng bola yes. and then do their their own thing. And uh, Ongteko led Iloilo with nine points. Will he lead the resistance in the second half? Navarro had six and Arupa had five. And uh, Ludovisa and Nermal. Ito nga si John Nermal. He did most of the damage early in the game. Nung dikit pa. Dikit, yes. Oh, and then Ludovisa, yun yung medyo lumayo. Oh, lumayo dahil nga nag uh, tatlong tres. That sumali pa yung dalawang tito na sa three points, si oh. Jaime at si Marquis. Oh, so uh, it's been a, uh, shall we say, a you know dominant first half. And they sustained that here in the second half as we begin the action. Iloilo has Shaq Imperial, Enzo Navarro, Jerry Onteco, Jay Abilosa, and uh, Josh Flores. Onteco. Could not get that once to go. Rebound in Marky. Na kasabay ngayon si Aaron Hiruta. John Nermal. Jay Moigilos. 
and James Quecate. Quecate gets it to Nermal against Flores. Get the switch. Nermal step back three. Another three points. So, sinasabi mo dito, mas lamang sila sa... Oo, oh, mas, pag... mas maganda yung usually yung second half nila. Dito? Oo, oh, oh, sa, sa ring na to, sa kabila. Eh, maganda na yung first... Ay, kaya nga eh. Ba baka mas gumanda pa. Let's see, let's see. Oh. Pero, you know, if you're coach Alex Angeles though, uh, Pao, you, you, you know, balikan natin yung uh, usapan na yan. As we bring you this three-point shot again, brought to you by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances, Oteco, scores underneath. No, lamang ka ng 20 kanina. You were playing so well. Ano sabi mo sa mga player mo? Ano? Kasi sabi na eh nagawa na namin yung coach ng first half. Ganda na naging nilaro namin eh. Ano pa yung challenge sa bibigay mo ngayon sa team mo? Eh hey, well, for sa nakikita ko, wag magkumpiyansa. Still play the right way. Yeah, and that's con right. And continue. Kasi nag things are working well. So might as well continue lang at or dagdagan mo pa. Oo. Oo, malamang. Sabihin ko na lang, zero-zero pa rin, ha? <laughs> Oo, oh, exactly. And Shaq Imperial, you, you still have to win quarters. You know, yun yung mga iba, iba coaches, they, they, they give you many, mga target na maliliit, eh. Uh Oo, -oh. oh, kahit kunin natin yung quarter na to. Ilo-ilo, ganun din. Uh -oh. yeah, Makakuha tayo ng isang quarter. Oh, parang kasi ang sabi ng mga ibang coaches, eh. Oh, let's give them just 10 points this quarter. Which uh -oh. is, that's really hard. Oo. Uh -oh. Pero susubukan mo kasi nag-set ka ng goal eh. Oo. Oh, oh. And uh, Josh Flores unable to complete the three-point play. Ano ba ang dapat gawin ng Iloilo ngayon para makahabol sila hey. sa game na to? Ayun. <laughs> Atake, no? Uh -huh. Four points and four boards para kay Josh Flores averaging 12 points during uh, the regular season and he scores his fifth in the ball game. I think uh, they need to play fast ball. Pagurin nila yung mga big man ng uh, Bacohor para makahabol sila this game. Yeah, AJ Madrigal there and uh, Marlon Basco. Aaron Heruta waits for Iguilos and a foul. Holding foul on number 21, Renzo Lamano is third. First team foul. Kanina pa itong matchup na ito eh. Oh, ganyan ang matchup na ito. Physical talaga eh. Sarap pa naman yung ganyan, yung physical. Yeah, man. You know, some players really love the, you know, yung ganong klasi matchup. Ito na. Eruta posting up on Navarro. Aaron and Lorenzo Navarro. They will be talking as they go back to the other end. <laughs> it's a foul on Krekete. Ito, doable to eh for Iloilo. Baba mo sa sampo, walo, going into the fourth quarter. Dalawang three points lang yan. Momentum, kopyansa. <laughs> Problema, isa pa lang nga na susunod nila. Nanganap ka ng dalawa. <laughs> Let's see. Navarro. Flores. They need to take care of that boy. Yeah. Every possession counts for them. Yeah, turnover happening right in front of Coach MC. I believe that my coaches, eh, Vincent, alam mo yun, may, may ano kana? Sa disappointed ka, pwede mo mapakita sa mukha mo kasi yes. nasa TV tayo. <laughs> Marky. It comes with the job. Oh, no man. Uh, Igilas, binigay kay Hiruta. Here's Aaron, able to spot Igilas, and a steal by Jay Havelosa. Navarro finds Onteco. Flores. Nice pass. Two man game with Onteco. Onteco, ooh! ooh. Blocked by Igilos. Flores inside. And he will not get the roll. Ayaw talaga to mama ni Flores. Oh, hindi pa rin tapos yung dalawa. And three players ganging up on Aaron Hiruta. 
And Josh Flores giving up the foul. Oh, si J.R. Otegong uh, pinituhan ng foul. Nalakas din ang katawan ni Ruta. Oo oh, no? oh, naman. Nakikita ko naman kung paano niya pinostiyan kanina si Navarro. And that's a push right there on uh, J.R. Otegong. Nermal, binabantayan ni Flores. Uses the pick and... Almost. That was a really slick spit move. Flores for three. Finally. That's good. Josh Flores, three! Yun ang inahanap ng Iloilo. Nine points now para kay Josh Flores. And there's a reason why we've been talking about itong uh, si Josh Flores because he we know he's capable of uh, doing great things for the Royals. Three-pointer drops para dito kay Josh Flores and it's now a 14-point lead for Bacor. Lorenzo Navarro of the Ilo Ilo United Royals is, uh, you know, gusto ko tong uh, point guard nato. No? He's been around for a while uh, yes. in the collegiate ranks, seven points and six assists. And really, he's just mga, you know, when when you entrust a team, you know, to him, not to run your offense, kita mo na maasahan mo even at such a, you know, young age. Yes, uh, and uh, credits to uh, Navarro. Uh, he's working on his game, talaga. Oh. Season, and it shows na yung tiwala na binibigay sa kanya eh, binabalik naman niya ngayon. And they get the stop here, Iloilo. Imperial puts the ball on the deck, attacks, and draws the foul. And uh, eto. Possible pa yan. Oo, oh, oh, unti-unting... Uh, na bubuhayan dito ang Iloilo United Royals. I think uh, they need to maximize yung ano yun. Oh, pag nag-turn over ang Bacoor or nire-relax, dun sila uh, kailangan bumulusok. Shaq Imperial at the line. Ito, sikat sa Cebu to. Ito si Shaq Imperial. One of the... Cool. Top collegiate players in Cebu. Coach Maku one right there. Four points for Imperial. Uh, no, over two. Ilang miss na yan? Four? Yeah. Kailangan na kailangan nila those free throws. Yes. If they want to go come back dito sa laro natin. Li Yu. He thought about it, fires a three. Voila, rebound, Josh Flores. Iloilo with another stop. Navarro, Marlon Bosco for three. That's good, Marlon Bosco. A timely hit para kay Marlon Bosco. Second three of the evening. And uh, Iloilo is within 11. Pwede pa pa talaga si Bosco, no? Oh, and uh, siyempre... Ginagamit talaga siya dito ni Coach MC no? with his veteran smarts. Quick cut! Ah, so, Bapawiyan ka ng 
three points then. And looks at Josh Flores as they come back down 12 the floor. Points. 12 points for Pepe. Uh, Navarro, back to Basco, closed out by Hamito. Flores Ena. answers right back. Raining trees sa Bacora. Palita na. Nantres dito. Once puto sa kalamangan. This was as high as 21 in the quarter. The Royals with some momentum here. Jammer. One hander. Won't work. Rebound. Jo Jaya Velosa. Enzo Navarro. Pulls up. Yes, sir. Eight points for uh, Navarro. And eight, a, a ten assists. Ten assists. Well. Wow. Yeah, you have to like that, huh, Mr. Yes. Uh, Paulo Valde, huh? Because so man, huh? Mga double digit na assists, huh? Yeah, yun talaga. Yun ang tawag na point guard. Lee Yu, they swing it over to Mark Yi. Five seconds on the shot clock. Yi drives. Yi reverse. Block and it's another. Nabasa ni Tito Basco. Oh, defensive stop. And going back to Navarro, ah, but yung yung off season niya paying off right now. Oh, but eto hindi mo na tuturo yung poise sa laro. And we're seeing that right now. I think credits to a simple grind. I think. Yeah, Enzo Navarro, what a shot. Yun na, yung trees na sinasabi natin. Kailangan yeah. nilang ma-make. Anim na. Lang. From, anim na lang ang lamang dito ng Bacor. From as high as 21. Jaime. And all Good of a down. sudden. Oh. Tecate. Layup. Won't work. Imperial. Nahanap ng kakape. Goes to Flores inside. No. And that ball is last touch to Chito Jaime. Now what a shift in momentum though. With the way things are going, because you know, they, they really were struggling to get things going. Yes. But Enzo Navarro, nagtimon ng maganda. And then he nahan, nahanap din ang kanyang kapensa. Pasa pasa muna, nung lumuwag na siya naman. 63 to 57. Basco puts the ball on the deck, scoring his quarter 20 to 6. Armin Yon! Big shot! It's a three point game. 23. And wow! And looks like Armin Yon is hurt. Hurt? And Basco is on the drive and kick. And a three-pointer drops para dito. Okay, uh, Andre Armenion. And he felt it coming back. May have pulled something. Sayang naman. And uh, all of a sudden, Iloilo only one three-pointer in the first half. Ngayon, lima na. Li Yu layup doesn't drop, so Mido with a rebound. Chance to tie for the Royals. What a game. Imperial has it against Quekete. Shaq fires and wow. hits! We are tied at 63! Everything's heated right now. We gotta let cooler heads prevail here. And wow, so good. Kala ko first game lang yung maganda. Second, Iba? second game din pala. Second din pala. And uh, they're gonna take a look at this because there was an incident after the Shaq Imperial three. But what about this one? He, we know he's a big game player in Cebu. Uh, what about taking your act to the big city? Shaq Imperial over Quekete. Over Quekete, no? In your face. Uh, Bagsak Siliyu on the rebound. He bumps Sumido. And they exchange words. 
And Liu nodding his head. Ayoko nang maging lip reader. <laughs> Kasi baka ano ang mas mo. <laughs> but nonetheless, hey. welcome to the South Division playoffs. No? And, uh, hey, lahat ayaw magpatalo, siyempre. Yeah. Uh, what about this Iloilo team? They, they heavy underdog dito, Paolo. Paano, tingnan mo yung response nila dito in the third quarter. Like I said kanina, no? uh, for them to catch up on this game, they have to make their threes. And bilisan nila yung laro, which what they did sa game na to. Oh, so check, check, pareho. Yes. Yung dalawang uh, na-mention mo. And then, ito yung ano dito sa bakor. They have to find, you know, yung, yung, yung poise nila. Because kanina, the shots were just falling left and right. Yes. And you you know that very, very rare na mangyayari yan for four quarters. Oh, naman. Yung, yung ganong klaseng shooting, ah. Oo. Oh, oh. yeah, it's never a perfect game. Eh. Oo. Oh, oh. So, uh, basketball is a game of runs. So, yung yung character ng isang team talaga masusubukan sa... Oh, pag it, when things are not going your way. Yes. Diba? So, in the, and right here... Medyo nag-relax kasi ang Bacoor sa... They have the cushion. Oo. Oh, oh. Yun yung advantage na kinuha ng Iloilo na yun. So now we have a tie ball game. Yeah, they were getting consecutive stops kanina. Itong uh, Iloilo. And they were not just getting stops. They were converting on those stops. No? Yes. You know, one three from, from Marlon Basco. Another from Josh Flores. Enzo Navarro had his moments. And, and Minion with a three. Oh, oh. And, and yun nga, and this is the beauty of this ball, of this ball game. You'll never know what you're gonna get because kanina hindi makashoot ito ng ilo ng tres eh. Oh, di kahit parang may patong yung court. Eh. Ring. Number twenty, Joel Liu, second, and number thirteen, Jr. Subidos, first. So just a double yeah, foul. Just a double foul. Ang uh, tawag dito. Yeah, kailangan mag-usap. <laughs> but this is just for Bacoor. They have to refocus here. Wala na yung lamang eh. Wala na. 0-0 zero, zero na. 0-0 zero, zero na ulit. Scoring this quarter, 26-6. Greg Lute misses. And Ilo Ilo with a chance to take the lead here. So Mido. Attacks, goes to Flores, corner, three, wala. Sumido with a rebound. Dives for that loose ball, gets it to La Rupai, And Imperial has it with 10 in the shot clock. Oh. And J.R. Oteco. With an illegal screen. With a legal pick. And uh, napaupo. So Coach MC. Coach MC. Hindi na rin may pinta yung mukha ni Coach Mack, oh. <laughs> Tignan natin yung nangyari dito. And, and uh, that was the illegal pick. And Katapusan returns to the ball game. Tied at 63. Late in the third. Si Ruta magtitimun ngayon. Eh, Ruta to Nermal. Nermal will fire. There you go. It's that offense. John Nermal. 66 to 63. Bakor back in the lead. 17 points. Para kay John Nermal. Imperial. Right into the gut of the D. Wow. Banks it in for two. A body to Nermal and with a bank shot. No? Oh. And. Kita mo eh, nagkakumpiyansan eh. Oo. Ito si uh, Shaki Pira, kanina hindi. You know, wala, wala, ma, wala siya nagagawa kanina eh. Nerma, tough shot. Wala, Hamito loses the handle to Katapusan. Imperial will attack. Imperial, the kick out. This CJ for three, no. Shaq, this fires. is big. Wala. We have a physical game. And there's an a sportsman like foul signal by the referee. 
Down goes Josh Flores. Aaron Hiruta pleading his innocence. Hindi pa rin talaga umahamin yung partner. Oo. Ayun ako, gusto ko lang huminga muna. Ng, um, a sportsman line foul on uh, number 9, Aaron Hiruta's court. Apat na for Aaron Hiruta. More frustration pa, no? Yung nakikita mo from uh, Bacor. Yes, parang ano eh, parang uh, tapakan yung ego nila kasi we have the lead. We have the lead. Tapos, all of a sudden, all na. No, bagsak si Hiruta right here. And doon ang uh, contact, yung uh, kanan na elbow right in the chest. In a playoff game, uh, you have to be smart pagdating sa decision making mo sa loob. Kasi one certain uh, turnover will change the complex of the game. Uh oh. Josh Flores plus one session. And a chance to take the lead here for Ilo Ilo. What a turnaround for the Royals. Makes the shot. Side game. And uh, 13 points for uh, Flores. Already past his average. The Royals are in the lead. Wow. Can you imagine? Yep. I didn't I didn't know this was gonna happen, you know. Alam kanina sabi natin target na baba mo lang sa 10 8 eh. Pero ito, even better. Lumamang ka na, 67 to 66. And confidence is at an all-time high for the Royals. Shaq Imperial. On the attack, left-handed layup, wala. Rebound the Marquee. And a chance for the last shot of the quarter para dito sa strikers. Two seconds difference. Yi. That's the ball to Ludovice. Nermal providing the pick. Ludovice lost the ball. Here comes Iloilo. They have time. La Rupai is fouled by Nermal. Yun yung beauty na sinasabi na walang number one sa MPBL. Yeah. Ito totoo ang sinasabi ni Coach Alex, no? Na, yeah, they, they, they expected this type of game. Yes. I mean, he expected it. Yes. Pero yung after going up 20 points, hindi mo din talaga ma, ma lalaman na, you know, the intensity will go down or, you know, yung, yung, yung team niya. As Omar Larupay has six, has points, six no? points in the game, matching his season average. And eight rebounds as well. Seven. Two for two. Three point lead. What a turnaround for the Ilo Ilo United Royals. Let's see what the uh, adjustment will do for Coach Alex, no? An incredible quarter para dito sa Iloilo. Scoring 29 points in the period. Josh Flores was on fire. Enzo Navarro was quarterbacking efficiently. And Shaq Imperial showed us that he was made for big moments. And as we head into the final quarter of game one, it's the Iloilo United Royals with a three-point lead.
We present you our Suzuki Muscular and Sporty Fan of the Game, uh, just like the Avenis. Do more and achieve more with the Muscular and Sporty Scooter from Suzuki. The Avenis, oras na para magmotor. And, uh, you know, that's uh, what I mean, fans. That's uh, from the Iloilo side. Uh, biggest lead of the game was at 60 to 37 on. Early in uh, the third quarter, step back three pointer, galing kay John Nermal. And. Uh, hindi ko na alam kung ano nangyari, Paulo Hobalde. Six points ng in, in score, ano, ng uh, Baku Or from there. Uh -huh. And uh, 32 ang uh, in score ng uh, Ilo Ilo. Quekate for three, and he yeah. tied again. <laughs> It's a test of character for the Bacorian. Uh, get, getting a big lead and losing a big lead. Yes. And now dragged into a dogfight. La Rupai, short jumper. Wala. Pastoran gets the rebound. Uh, Strikers getting a stop. That was a good shot, though. Yes. Quekate could not make it back to back. Madali, is it Imperial, Lumapit. This is John Ermal with the rebound. Fifth rebound for Nermal. Nermal is open. Three pointer, that's good. 20 points. 20 points, 20 points and five boards for John Nermal. 72 to 69. Somido loses it to Ludovice. And this is a rare combination na ginagamit dito ni Coach Alex. Uh, well, you have two point guards and Nermal is uh, playing like a stretch four here. Yun yung adjustment na sinasabi natin kanina kung anong aatake ni Coach Alex. No? Pastoran airballs the three. Nakuha ni Imperial. Kaya yung highlight. That could have been easily been a let go. Yes. That could have easily been a let go call. And and I it could be an an, an sportsman like foul too. Uh, Kung, uh, advantage uh, Adva foul. Ang advantage mangyari. foul. Wedding advantage foul. Let's see what the referees. Sorry, nothing going to Yeah, okay, that's a good call. Yun. And the uh, uh, advantage that it's a Katapusan who uh, was about to throw it down. So that's two free throws? Plus yeah, ball plus possession. Ball possession. Yeah, that's possession. Yeah, that's what is that even though Wala si Enzo Navarro kanina. He's coming back fresh for the fourth quarter kasama si uh, Josh Flores. Fresh siya, no? May energy siya para sa fourth quarter. Oo. Uh -huh. Well rested. I wonder what happened to our minion. So hopefully, uh, we will get a report later on. Uh, but he's back on the bench. Nakaupo na siya ulit. Mm -hmm. Kanina, he was getting treatment. Uh, Shaq Imperial will get two free throws. Two free throws. Tampak din ang ilo yun. Hindi sila sumuko. Against a home team. Oh, oh. Number one team in the South. Right? Yes. Ten points para kay Shaq Imperial. He's had his moments in this ball game. But he misses the second. Medyo na pagod. Shaq Imperial. Oh, ni Biro yung ginawa niya. Defense and offense. That is uh, Navarro's time to... Uh, Navarro, jumper, that's good. Back at you. Back like he never left. Enzo Navarro. 
may uh, 13 puntos na sa laro. 13 points and 10 assists. 10 assist. Double double na. Brekate from way out. Wala. Ludovice with a rebound. Finds Nermal. Binabatay ni Flores. Another three from way out. But Aguilos secures the rebound. Ang ganda na eh. They, they're limiting Bacoor to long three-pointers. Contested uh -huh. three-pointers. They're letting them shoot the three. Katapusan lays it in for two. Ayaw nila paposte yun yung mga veterans. And, but eventually, nakuha nila nila yung defensive rebound. Nakatakbo pa sila. Uh -huh. Pero may, medyo marami-raming attempt yun. Here's to the visa. Kailangan talaga takbuhan eh. Ang uh, Bacoor. Nermal, corner three. Pasok yan! <laughs> 23 <laughs> big points para kay John Nermal refusing to oh, lose. Oh! oh. Three points. 16 for Renzo Navarro. My goodness, what a game. He's raining trees, huh? Grabe. And the guts to take that shot early in the shot clock. Yes. Quekate, kind of answer. Wala. Rebound, Jay Havilosa. They're letting him shoot the trees talaga kahit na nakakashoot sila. Navarro, zigzagging his way inside. Out to La Rupay. Pasok yan! Five-point lead for Iloilo. Ten points para kay Omar Larupay. And confidence has skyrocketed here for Iloilo. Yi, wala. Pang ilang three points na yon at then. Dami na. We have to check on the three-point shooting of both teams. Navarro with the rock. Avelosa. Traveling. That's a travel. TV timeout. We need a ceasefire here. 39 attempts for uh, Bacoor. Now, we see what's going on How Enzo Navarro shrugs off the tee of Ludovice. With a step and, back, no? Oh. And not about Omar Larupay. That's, good, that's, that's 11 assists. Right, yeah. Parang kay Renzo Navarro. And uh, Ilo Ilo. Five points. Ang kanilang laman ngayon. You can hear the Iloilo Ilo bench celebrating from across the court last huddle as Coach Mack tells his players, this is what we've been waiting for. Ito ang proof na back to zero talaga. Huwag natin sayangin ang opportunity. Kung ito ni Jay Avalosa na during halftime, they actually only spoke about one thing. They still have so much time left so they cannot play soft. Enzo Navarro actually advises teammates, let's stay physical but please, no dumb fouls. Marlon Basco actually also added, focus lang tayo, hayaan mo silang mapikon. Ang importante, ipakita natin, we are good sports and we can win. As for Andre Arminion, he said he just faced some cramps but pero okay na siya. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Gianna, for that very comprehensive update from the Iloilo bench. A very ecstatic Iloilo bench. Yes, they are now in the lead, 80 to 75. Nermal against Navarro. Shot clock down to five. Nermal gives it up to Heruta. The one-hander from Aaron oh. off the glass and in. 
bailout shot from Eero de Ruta. First basket of the ball game. Navarro. No. La Rupai trying to battle uh, Aguilos for that rebound. Three point lead for the Royals. Eruta looking for a teammate, finds Marquis. Quecate, they want to go. Goes downhill, James Quecate. It's a good attack. Tumingin muna siya kay Egulus eh. Tapos nagbalbelak si Larupay, doon siya umatakas. Good one. And also, shot clock was winding down and Egulus had to... And these are, you know, the yung bigat ng dalawang tira na to was hindi lang because lumapit sila dito, but late shot clock eh. And then you thought you were playing great defense if you're Iloilo and, you know, they score like that and they're tied again. Two bailout shots, no? May halong psychological impact eh. Yung ganong klaseng mga tira eh. Instinct na yun. Let's see what Navarro will do. Eight deadlocks, nine lead changes. Biggest lead is at 23 points for Bacor. Imperial has it against Heruta. Onteco providing the pick. Dives. Onteco blocked by Eguidos. Balik sa Bacor ang bola. Quecate trying to take it in. Binigay kay Nermal. Umatake si John. No. Onteco collects the rebound. Navarro. Get up to Onteco. Hand off. Josh Flores. There's a double team. Josh finds Katapusa. Onteco drives. And it's uh, off. Defense, huh? Onteco. Ito ang may leadership ni Marky. Yeah, makes everyone accountable on the defensive end. <laughs> Let's watch this defensive gem from Marky. Nastat pa ni uh, Ogteco. Nermal. Yi. They go down low to Igilos. Carving space. Wala. Another opportunity. No. They go quickly, Iloilo. And they execute when they have court. What nice a pass. pass. What a nice pass. pass. What a pass. And Renzo Navarro is putting on a show here in the fourth quarter, under three minutes remaining. 12 assist. 13. That's about 39. Wow. 39? Yeah. Yi, Quecote fires and hits. Oh, wow. One big shot after another. Dito, it's a bakor. And hindi na narinig yung timeout. Timeout na. Timeout po na tayo, guys. Timeout muna. Even si Makandaya gusto na maglaro. <laughs> what a pass. Look at this. That bounce pass. That bounce yeah. pass. You are beaming with pride, Marlo Hovalde, because your breed of point guards are yes. giving us a show here. At the si Krekote answering with uh, that three-pointer off the dribble. Two and a half minutes remaining. And it's a one-point lead for Bakor.
Their 23-point lead is long gone, but uh, the Bacor City Strikers have uh, been dragged into a dogfight, and James Krekete has delivered for the Strikers. A couple of threes here in the final quarter, and he's given them a one-point lead. When, when, when baskets are getting hard to come by, it's really nice to have like a a, a flat out scorer in James Kekote in your team, Paolo. In an in instant scorer, no? It's a that's a very rare to have a, such a talent the way the Oh, yun, yun, yun nga yung ano eh. Yung hindi mo kailangan ng play para sa kanya. Oh. Ibibigay mo lang yung bola sa kanya. Oh, ito bola. Ito bala. Oo. Oh. Navarro gives it up on Teco. Umatake, JR basket at one. What a response. Yung una na blanka siya. Ngayon natuto kagad siya. Dapat na yan for Marquis. Top shot yan, ha? Oh, oh. And, and, and he, I think he slowed down at the last moment, which is very difficult for a big man. And against Marquis. Monteco, 13 points in the ball game. Sumabit si uh, Lorenzo Navarro. Oh, that's... Wow. That's his fifth. And they want to challenge it. They look like they want to challenge it. They want to challenge it. That's a big hit. If, if he fouls out. That, yeah. They want to challenge it. And I think this is a... I just like this is a You know, you might as well. You might as well. You're going to lose him. This villain might be the turning point of the game. Yeah, he, he, he's, your, he's been your best player in this ball game. For now, he has uh, 16 points, 3 rebounds, and 14 assists. Almost double his uh, averages uh, for this uh, conference. So 2.25 remaining. And this is MPBL playoff basketball at its finest. 84 to 83. Ang tanong ko, kung magma-foul out siya, who's stepping up for his team? Yeah, yun nga, no? And what, what we've seen... Eh, eh, madami sila ngayon, eh. Anim sila siya. <laughs> May sobra yan. The challenge made by Ilo Ilo was unsuccessful. Oh, he's out. Barlo, let's go to Barlo. Let's go to Barlo, five fouls. Enzo Navarro. And here's what happened here. Oh, right there. You shouldn't have been tempted to yes. keep your hand on the cookie jar about. On a veteran. Who will milk it. Yes. Who so will capitalize. It's a lesson learned for uh, Navarro. Yeah, but, for, but terrific sure. game. Terrific game, yes. Enzo Navarro. And just could not finish this ball game, though. But they are in the lead, the Royals. Switching ngayon ng Iloilo, ha? Krekate, three ball, no. Marquis. Wala pa sa penalty, parehong teams. That's a foul on Teko. Lima na rin. Si J.R. Oteko. Sakit nun sa Iloilo. Well, the comeback is taking its toll on Iloilo. Montego has uh, 13 points and 5 rebounds. And 1 assist. No, eh, nasa ilalim siya dun eh. And uh, James Krekete scores underneath. Yun yung ano, malaki, walang tao sa pag-fallout niya na malaki. Oh, 23 points now for James Gerkate and we are in the twilight zone. 
La Rupai, too good, strong. Good challenge by Mark Yu. 85 to 84. 13 rebounds for Marquis. Nermal. Fires. No. Flores with the rebound. Iloilo still has an opportunity here. Flores wants the ball. Huh? Flores gets the switch. Swings it over to Larupai. Katapusan against Nermal. CJ inside, voila! Agawansa rebound, Have a Losa diving for that loose ball. Hossa. Another possession for Hossa. Ilo Ilo. Hustle by Have Losa. Imperial knocks it down. Imperial. Rewarding his big man with uh, two points. What a shot. Shaq Imperial. He. I don't know how, how he wanted that basketball there. What about this play? Very clever. A good read by Drake Oh. You know, take the pick. Imperial right between the eyes. Jumper is money para kay Shaq Imperial. Right in front of Marquis, huh? Nakita mo yung, 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 na, yung player na sanay na nasa kanya yung bola pag crucial eh. You can tell, no? Oh, my God, Benny! Keep that, let me open! You go, stang, guys! Maligay, Jeff, you go here! Maligay, magsuswitch yan! Magka-switch! Mag-slip ka na agad, Chito! Ikaw ang kailangan kong pumasa na maganda, ha? Ikaw, one more! Okay. Huwag ka papadinay, Kit! Okay, Mr. Eric, Pakita! Mr. Eric, Pakita! Kapatid! Backpick! Backpick! Stagon! Parating pa lang! Mag-slip ka na! Kasi mag-switch yan! Okay, eto open dyan! Open to dito! Kung walang, kung walang mangyari! Kung walang mangyari! Hand off kay James! Hand off kay James! And go! Okay. My plan A, my plan B. Pag hindi gumana yung kanilang play doon, bigay na kay James. <laughs> Medyo well, clear, ha? Clear. <laughs> wala nang timeout ang Bacoor. No. So basically, that's the last uh, utos ni Coach Alex. No. 64 seconds remaining. One point lead for Iloilo. Nermal has the basketball. Viruta has to go. Shot clock winding down. Good Imperial block. with the block. Imperial with the basketball. Leaves it to Jay Avilosa under the basket. Misses. But Josh Flores with an extra possession for Iloilo. Imperial wants the ball. Here we go. Five on the shot clock. Shaq. Imperial off balance jumper won't work. Rebound, Imarki. Walana time out ang bakor. Seven second differential, game clock and shot clock. They have a foul to give, Iloilo. And That's a good foul. Gives, That's a good foul. Yeah, gives up the foul. Fourth team foul on Iloilo. They so, still have one timeout. Iloilo has one timeout left. And they're not calling it. Yeah. Kung pumasok, no? if, if Bacor converts for sure, they, they will be... Uh, they're saving it for, for this play. Uh, Iloilo looking for an upset. Tecate. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Recate goes downhill. Met by Flores. Rebound. Havilosa. Loose ball. Recate has it. Jaime, oh, is Jaime fouled. got fouled. That's a good hustle by Recate. CJ Katabusa and whistled for the personal. Good, no call there. Avilosa, but Prekote trying to save that one. 
Ends Who's up it? with the basketball. Katapusan has already lost his balance oh. and got too close to Chito Jaime. Veteran move, I think. You had to put it up one, one yeah. second to shot clock. A good presence of mind by Chito. Yeah, pressure back foul shots here from Chito Jaime. Ah. In and out on the first. 7.5 seconds remaining. Iloilo with a timeout. Bakoor with a foul with two fouls to give. Jaime, second free throw. Yes. That's it. They're using this last timeout for this last play. 7.5 seconds remaining. 86 all. And if you're Iloilo, you want to finish this off. Yes. Dito sa in regulation, uh -oh. they don't have the same manpower as Bakoor. Iloilo is depleted. Eh. With your two players graduating. Uh -oh. And key players pa yun, ah. So... And this is an to Coach MC. We're gonna go, Sagard. Okay. Okay, man. Oh, Josh. Put him up. Back next switch. Back next switch. Put him up. Okay. Away. Away. Bar. Next. Take it to Josh. Try to pick. Pick. At the basket. Tied at 86. Uh, final instructions from uh, Coach MC Abulushon. The Royals on the verge of an incredible comeback. 23 points down in the second half. And they have a chance to steal game one of this best of three South Division quarterfinals against the top seed, the Bacoor City Strikers. Shock Imperial, CJ Catapusan, Omar Larupay, J.R. Sumido, and Josh Flores Sanglima for Iloilo for this last possession. Flores will attack, fouled by Veloria, 4.6 remaining. And that's a foul to give. Ukrainian uh, Veloria, so one more for, for Bako Or. They're running the same play. Katapusan has it. CJ will fire. CJ Katapusan! Tinapos! CJ Katapusan! Tinapos, you know? Wow! Big three-pointer for CJ Katapusan! What an upset, Sidel! The biggest shot of the game, CJ Katapusan! Tinapos ni Katapusan. Wow! Well, look at this again. Katapusan getting the inbound. Yeah, shakes off, uh, you, you know, rejects the handoff, and look at that. Glass. The oh. Follow through. Just incredible. He went up high for that three pointer. And uh, Ilo Ilo stages the most. Incredible of comebacks. I'm Dito say MPBL playoffs and Commissioner Kenneth Teremdes. That is every fan right there. That is every MPBL fan right there. Whether which team you are. No, oh kung saan ang allegiance mo, yun yung reaction ng lahat ng basketball fans. An 89 to 86 victory para sa Iloilo United Royals over the number one seed. The Bacoor City Strikers, and they will head to Sambuanga next week with a chance to take out Bacoor, the number one team.
Wow. Wow. 89 to 86. And and this team, akala natin wala nang pag-asa ng Pau. 23 oh, oh. points and it wasn't going well. Player of the game natin, Shaq Imperial. When the chips were down, when they lost Renzo Navarro, they lost JR Onteco. Shaq Imperial showing us that he can take charge para dito sa Ilo United Royals. 12 points in the ball game. And let's go. Now we're waiting. We're waiting. Uh, well, a few more moments uh, bago namin ibigay sa inyo ang ating uh, best player of the game. And uh, just incredible performances all around. For, you know, just the way they came back from 23 points down. How Bakuor was hitting big shots themselves. You know, to you know, to stave off whatever they were trying to do. Wow. Uh, they never gave up on this game. No. I'm speechless actually, pero grabe yung puso ng uh, team na Iloilo, no? Oh, uh, so, the trees, the raining trees, the takeover of Navarro, the... Yeah. So, uh, babalikan natin yan. Pag-uusapan pa natin yan. Punta muna tayo kay Gianna Lianes. Yes, congratulations to the Ilo Ilo United Royals. Everybody was at the edge of their seat. Lalo na sa tira mo. I have to ask you, I have to ask you, ano yung nasa isip mo when you took that shot? Uh, for me, I just trusted uh, what I can do. And yun nga, nadala lang din sa laro na buti na shoot lang. Kaya na, pwede, chamba na rin yun eh. Pero buti na lang pumasok. So I'm really grateful for it. And I know that you guys are just a story that we're really going to follow. Going into the next game, how are you going to make sure that you're, that you can also just prove everybody wrong and show that you can come out on top? Um, we're just trusting our system right now and we're just trusting each other and our teammates and we have each other's back and I hope that's going to make us and the job's not yet done so we're just trying to make it to the finals if you can. Kitang kita nga na emosyal ang kupunan nyo. And I know that everybody watching, supporting your team is also very emotional, so proud. Why don't you thank them? Why don't you thank everybody who's watching and so proud of you right now? Dagang salamat sa mga taga Iloilo, sa mga nag-support sa mong team. Salamat sa mong sponsors, na Boss J, Boss JJ, na mong mga sponsors, Philbet, Coco Life, GameX. And I just want to say hi to my mom and family that's in the States right now, and my dad and my family in Cebu who's watching this game. Congratulations once again. That was CJ Katapusan. I will let you relax now. I feel like you're still catching your breath now. I have to go to our best player of today's game, Shaq Imperial. Shaq, may punto ng game na 20 points down kayo. Sabi ni Jay Avelos sa akin kanina, dahil daw yun, na soft yung laro nyo. Kailan yung punto na sabi nyo, hindi na pwede ganito yung laro namin? Uh, unang una, no, papasalamat ako kay Lord na nakuha naman yung uh, panalo and Siguro nung half, uh, first quarter and second na natambakan kami ng 20, uh, siguro nag-stick kami sa, sa plan ni Coach MC and sa mga coaches and siguro uh, di kami bumitaw. And Chuck, I'm sure maraming inspired sa inyo ngayon. Yung mga MPBL teams na maglalaro rin sa playoffs, going against somebody in the higher standing, anong mensahe mo sa kanila na huwag mawala ng pag-asa? Uh, bilog yung bola, so palakasan na lang loob and... Uh, alam ko naman na mag adjust yung both, both teams na about sa game 2. So marami kaming uh, paghahandaan rin and siguro mga adjustments. Shaq, I'm sure just like CJ, a lot of people are very proud of you right now. Pasalamat naman naman sila. Uh, una una, pasalamat ako kay Boss JJ, pati anak niya. And sa family na ko, nagtanaw sa Cebu, ako mama, ako papa and kuya. And si Coach Rocky and sa mga friends sa uh, Pagadian. Uh, si Oswing and si Boss Engineer and Tita Virgie and sa uh, GameX and sa uh, Phil Phil Philbet.com So thank you sa mga sumusuporta and hopefully uh, sa Game 2 nanonodin kayo Well congratulations once again to the Iloilo United Royals Back to you sa Delphin Paolo Maraming salamat uh, Gianna and congratulations to Iloilo United Royals We are still in shock <laughs> and wow, just an incredible game yes. we witnessed and uh grabe. And we, we we did not expect it to go down the wire because of the way Bakoor was playing in that first half. Huh? Parang uh, invincible nga yung uh, Bakoor nung first half eh. Pero the way Ilu Ilu played and came back on this game is shows the character of the team and the heart of the team na 
Hanggat may oras, bilog ang bola. And you know what? Yung, yung three-point shooting in that second half, 9 of 12 for Iloilo. How, you know, how can you beat that? Kahit, kahit siguro medyo malaki-laki yung lamang, mahabol mo talaga if you shoot 9 of 12 from beyond the arc. Well, uh, if you're, sabi ko nga sa iyo kanina, if you're a shooter, just shoot it. So, sila, naniwala sila sa kakayahan nila. And I think, uh, binigay ni Lord yung panalo para sa kanila. Oh, and uh, take a look at this final play. Right here, CJ Katapusan banks the three home. And uh, we end this uh, coverage with a three-pointer. And uh, maraming salamat po sa, sa lahat. And for watching the MPBL, let's go to the press room for the post-game interview. Um, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the MPBL press con post-game press conference. Uh, welcome, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. First of all, what's your assessment on that uh, game-winning shot by CJ Katapusan? Uh, it's, it's about ano eh, uh, guts. Yung last play na yon. We we just execute. We know na magsuswitch sila, and alam namin na magiging si uh, Jaime yung magiging tao niya on that last ano execution. Uh, we took advantage and just made the shot. Good. Coach MC, first quarter, second quarter, tamba kayo. Third quarter, tapos fourth quarter, lumaban kayo. Ano yung naging convincing power nyo para umusad ng umusad at na nakuha nyo, nakopo nyo yung uh, panalo? Ano lang, uh, just keep reminding mga players, especially yung mga naglalaro sa loob, the game's not yet over. Eh. So first half, it's already done. We just keep moving. Um, we, we take uh, one possession at a time. Uh, luckily, hindi nag -me made yung mga shots nila outside and we made our shots. So, yun lang, yun lang yung sinabi namin sa kanila. Uh, trust ko ano yung tinatakbo namin. Uh, execution. Yun. Shaquille, ano yung mga uh, ginawa mo at naging uh, maganda yung laro mo? Uh, Nauna, nag naglaro lang ako ng basketball, siguro, and uh, yung mga system ni Coach MC and Coach Makon, uh, lahat ng coaches namin, uh, sinusunod ko lang yung ano, uh, kasi yung, uh, yung key player namin si Enzo na parang nag-graduate, so yun, nag-step up kami, nag-lock in rin, so yun, buti, nakuha namin yung panalo. Sa una, nagkaroon ng tambak, hindi ba nagkaroon kayo ng uh, parang threat na this is the... Home uh, court? Uh, home court ng ano eh, ng Bacor. So, syempre, parang may pressure rin. So, unang-una may pressure rin, lalo na sa akin. Siguro sa team kasi nga, nasa pang-8 kami na standing, sa sila yung panguna. And siguro refuse to lose, hindi kami sumuko. Um, both of you can answer this question. Uh, Coach, uh, Shaq, uh, how hard is it na sagupain yung number one uh, sa top seed sa inyong bracket? Uh, actually, mahirap, especially against Bacoor, uh, number one sa South. Uh, siguro, we just believe kung ano yung capable ng, ng players and kung ano man yung ginagawa namin sa practice, ano yung game plan namin sa practice, they just follow and Sabi namin, at the end of the day, I mean, at the end of the game, kung ano man yung result, tatanggapin namin. Dupatay po ba, do, kanina, kanina kasi, during halftime, 20 ang lamang eh, 20 ang lamang sa inyo ng Bacor. Dupatay ba doon sa point na kayo ay naghina or napanghinaan kayo na loob? Uh, hindi. Hindi. Uh, kasi like yung sinasabi namin, sinasabi ko sa mga players, the game's not yet over eh. Uh, meron pa kami 20 minutes. We're gonna do it one possession at a time. Kung ano yung magiging result doon, yun lang yung magiging, kung bagay accept namin. Basta, ang, ang sabi ko lang sa kanila, hindi kami, 
uuwi na may regret kami. Like, hindi nang binigay yung best namin sa game. During halftime break, Coach, ano po yung naging motivation nyo sa mga players niyo para lumakas yung loob at maka, makabawi doon sa malaking kalamangan ng Bacoor? Ano lang? <laughs> same, same lang. Same lang yung, yung sinabi ko sa kanila. Uh, just execute. W w walang hurry shot. Kasi before, before game, sinabi na namin yung mental toughness eh. About this game. Um, they're gonna make the run. They're gonna make the run. So, yun. Okay. Coach, uh, sa, sa player naman natin. Uh, ngayon, na medyo uh, maganda ipinakita ninyo. Talagang napasaya ninyo ang fans, ang inyong mga kababayan. Meron namang kalungkutan sa side ng uh, Bacoor dahil home court nila ito. What is your message to them? Uh, ganun talaga eh. Uh, may, mana may mananalo, may, may matatalo. Siguro uh, expect namin na uh, babawi talaga yung Bacoor sa game 2. So, syempre, may mga adjustments din kami. Siguro, uh, 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 mag kung kailan kami babalik mag-insayo, uh, papakita rin namin na uh, siguro sa Sambuanga yung game 2. So, sa so yun, uh, ma home court advantage man or hindi, gawin namin yung trabaho. Papasaya lang ang fans kahit saan saan, as long as dikit yung laban. Medyo nagkakapikunan kanina, no? Nagkakainitan oh. yung bakbakan. Dumarating pa yung sa point na medyo nakakabakbakan na kayo. Uh, paano nyo napanatili yung ganong disiplina na huwag nang humantong pa sa mas malalang sitwasyon? Mm, uh, siguro nung ano, nag, uh, may mga gita na talaga, yung mga physical, expected na yun kasi playoffs nga. So, matira matibay and siguro mga higpitan din ng mga tawag, tawag ng mga calls, calls ng mga referees. And about namin sa team, hindi kami nagpapadala. Actually, advantage sila kasi malalaki sila eh. So, siguro nag-stick kami sa system ni coach and siguro nag-usap, di lang about sa uh, mga plays, siguro about na sa uh, uh, discipline namin na kailangan namin mag-stick. Uh,